we go. Nobody inside. What the heck happened here? Let's find a good place to land and then check out the situation. You're finally here. You wouldn't believe what I had to go through. Ponerby was infected by Shodan and then I... Hold your tongue. You can tell your story during interrogation. Soldier XT2692, you are under arrest until further notice. Nick, take him to a holding cell on the Nightwalker. Captain to security. All security systems on the bridge are suddenly acting up. What have you done? <laughs> Taylor, Parker, come on, answer. What on earth is wrong with you? Captain. Nobody knows what really happened on Ponderby Station before it blew, but I find it hard to believe the prisoner's strange story about Shodan. Either this guy is suffering from dementia and has completely gone insane, or he wants us to believe he's insane when he's really a terrorist. I'm no psychiatrist, so I just can't say for sure. However, I think this man's case is best left to the military court on Earth. Hey, attention! This is Captain Heike Weber. Stand still and listen to me. I must admit that it looks like you told the truth. We took a badly damaged escape pod from Pontevi Station on board. And that was when all the trouble started. First, we lost control over the pods and the entire security system. The main current supply for the elevator broke down, so all decks are isolated. But there is an emergency generator located on your deck for this type of situation. Find three batteries, enter the maintenance tunnel and insert them there. Then activate the elevator with the computer console in the admin section. Get moving! I don't like to complain all the time, but I'm tired of this. I've gotten used to the fact that I need to mop my office myself, and if need be, I would even mop yours. But how long has it been since the restrooms have been cleaned? When I ask our cleaner about it, she only laughs. I mean, why do we need to have a cleaning service on this deck when they aren't doing anything? And no, I won't clean the restrooms, at least not the ones for the men. Not you again, miserable intra-sat-sat. I won't allow you to spoil my plans a second time. Enjoy your stay. It won't be for long. code for the bot control station is 15873. Drum it into your head and don't dare forget it again. There are problems with the bots on deck 3. Our chief engineer reported that one of the bots attacked an engineer and injured him badly. Attend to it immediately. Nothing like this must be allowed to happen again.
are, or I've heard the rumors circulating about what has happened on Connerby Station. Personally, I don't believe a single word of the prisoner's crazy story about Showdown, hybrids, or Saurians. He is under arrest till further notice. Watch him closely and be careful. Who knows what he is capable of? Wait, what am I saying? We both saw the reports, and frankly, this nutcase scares me. And if you see Peggy anywhere, can you please send her to me? Please? Storage is 24867. I wonder why we have to lock the storerooms here on deck 2 with a code. Everyone on this deck gets the code anyway, so why not just leave the door open? But that would be too easy. We need a security code for everything, and every month they need to be changed. But as if I don't have better things to do. on the UNN Nightwalker to get to Ponterby Station was really smart, but why is a cleaner of all things? I don't even know how to hold this mop properly, and the people on this deck want me to clean up after them. Yuck. I have no intention of doing it. Bad enough that I can't watch my favorite talk show, Oprah, here. Stuff it. The main thing is that we get to Ponterby Station as quickly as possible. If our two good-for-nothings think they can escape us so easily, Ha! We're going to show them. I can't wait to see Al's nutty face when he sees me, and then he'll get the shock of his life. I checked the bots several times, but I can't do anything. The bots on Deck 3 simply don't respond to any of my command inputs. It seems like they're being controlled from somewhere else. I know it sounds crazy, but I can't even deactivate them. What do I do now? All the crew members on Deck 3 are in great danger. Perhaps you should order the evacuation of the deck until this problem is solved.
Yeah, you install all three batteries. Now you only have to activate the emergency generator on the computer console in the admin section. I'm transmitting some cyber modules to you. You can find upgrade units in the security section. Great, the elevator is working again. Take the elevator to either deck 1 or 3 as work awaits you there. You'll get full particulars when you arrive. And stay away from the other decks, you aren't well enough equipped yet to survive them. I've transferred more cyber modules to you, you will need them. Captain, I arrested the soldier we found on the colony as you ordered. Due to the danger he poses to the security of the ship and crew, he will be under close watch even in the holding cell. This is also for his own safety as we have several crew members who lost family and friends on Ponderby Station. Between you and me, sir, I feel it would be safer if we freeze him till we get home. John. We've both listened to this crazy Hi story there. about Ponderby Station, make your but I really can't believe it. What do you make of it? The soldier doesn't act like he's crazy, though. What really happened on Ponderby Station? Will we ever find out? As our chief of security, what is your opinion? Perhaps we'll find some answers in the onboard computer of the escape pod we retrieved shortly after the explosion. Our engineers are still busy analyzing the data. Dana, seen our cleaner Peggy in the last few days? Someone has to tell her what happened to Ponderby Station, and I guess that someone is me. Her husband worked in the space station as a shoe salesman. <sighs> I really, really ain't looking forward to this one. <laughs> <laughs> 